Hi folks, my name is Drew Harkelrode. I'm here today with the Trailer Source RV Center here in Wheat Ridge, Colorado to talk about the Shockwave 33 SADX. This fifth wheel toy hauler is designed to more or less wear yourself out before you ever wear out the resources that are equipped on this unit. Now, a couple of things to mention here on the front. We have a huge, huge, huge awning, you know, just to give you a little bit of extra shade at the end of the day or early in the morning to come out and enjoy the elements before you go out riding your four wheelers, your dirt bikes or whatever you're going to be riding. A couple of things to mention here, just on the front side. First and foremost, keyless entry on the door. So not everybody has to have a key. If you're out riding your four wheeler, you, that's, I mean, it's easy to lose keys. So when you're out running around, you're not, you're not going to be coming back here going, oh no, how do I get in? Simple entry of the code opens the door. Once we move along here, you'll notice gigantic storage compartment. Big pass-through storage here allows for quite a few things. So all of your toys are going in the back, your four-wheelers, your dirt bikes, everything's loaded up inside. Where are you going to put your helmets, your dirty riding gear, any of that type of equipment? Well, you got space for it here. We have outdoor speakers on the unit, but we also have in this compartment the setup to hook up a TV outside. So get back from a long day of riding your motorcycle, you want to kick back out, just you know, watch a little bit of TV, listen to some tunes. You have some outdoor entertainment capabilities with this unit. Most toy haulers, and I feel Shockwave has a really big benefit of being one of the original toy hauler companies, are going to be equipped with fairly similar utilities. Big thing on this one, we got the Big Daddy generator in this one. The Onan 5500 generator here is going to be able to power everything in this unit. All of your outlets, your air conditioner, your microwave. You're never going to plug something in and go, oh darn, it's not working. We move right along. We have a lot of different, you know, ease of use type of features on this unit. Easy up and down retractable buttons for your jacks. We move here to the second side of your pass-through storage compartment. But what I like to mention over here is going to just be your ease of access to all of your drains, your power hookups. Everything's right here. Okay. Notice the clearance as well. You're going to go back into some pretty rough terrain with a toy hauler. I mean, the idea is to go find a really remote spot to get out and enjoy those four-wheelers, those dirt bikes, those side-by-sides. And, you know, when you're driving around... You're going to run into bumps, you're going to run into like maybe low limbs, things like that. And you've got the clearance to drive over all of those things. This unit, as you can see, has dual slides. And we'll cover those a little bit more once we're inside. But right here you can just see how the shockwave is set up for you to be comfortable while you're out and about. We have your fuel station back here. Okay, why is the fuel station great? Well dirt bikes, four-wheelers, they all use gasoline. Your Harley uses gasoline. You've got a place to fill up directly from the unit, wherever you are, so you're not trying to find that gas station, dragging around, gas cans, things like that. The unit is equipped with a pump to take care of that for you. The roof on the shockwave, well, there's a lot going on up there. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind, but I want to mention a few things. First and foremost, we're fully walkable. This ladder here is equipped to the side of the unit. We'll drop down so you can get up there, do any type of little bit of maintenance that you need to do, take a look around, survey the surroundings there. But one of the big things on the roof of this unit is going to be the solar panels that are already equipped. We'll cover where that panel is on the inside for usage, but know that you have solar panels on the top of this unit to power that battery, to power the lights, those LED lights that are inside, that are outside on the awning. This just kind of keeps you with that ability to go, 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 go. Okay, you've got fuel for your generator. You've got extra power for your battery, and we're using the sun to keep you going while you're out, while you're out and about. Back door on shockwaves. This will drop down to a ramp to allow you to load your toys in and out of the unit. These handles are nice, quick, and easy for release systems to bring them up and down and drop that back door. This back door is also equipped with a deck set up on it. So when you drop it down, it'll level out here, allowing you to have a little bit more outdoor recreational space to just get out, sunbathe if you found a good spot, or just get out there and lay down and enjoy that, you know, the, the shade. I mean, you might be under some trees, you never know. So we've hit on a few of the outside points that I like to mention with this. So let's go take a walk inside and go over some of the features and benefits that we have inside this unit. 
Well, folks, welcome to the inside. You can kind of see here I'm starting out on the couch. We're going to work away from the back to the front of the unit. So back here in the back, we do have this nice little fold-down couch to serve as a bottom bunk. Okay? When you're looking around, you'll notice up above me here, we do have the top bunk as well. We can accommodate for quite a few people sleeping back here comfortably. When you kind of look around, you'll notice a few things here. I mean, one, we have a very open style floor plan in here to accommodate for your toys. But we haven't sacrificed any comforts of your traditional style fifth wheel. One of the things that I do like to mention here, we have another fold down couch right over here in this, on this slide. To provide for a little bit more additional sleeping space, nice little table space to eat at. And just take a look around and you'll see what I'm talking about here. We just have a place to sit for everybody. So you get out from a real long, hard day of riding, uh, been out at a motorcycle rally, wherever you are, you can come back, get comfortable, and not be sitting here just like, oh gosh, where do I go? We've got tables here. We have the kitchen space, which I think is impressive in this unit. One of the things that I find impressive about it, it simply is just this extra little bit of counter space. Most tra traditional style toy haulers with this type of layout don't give you that extra space to cook. So you're using the table, you're using, you know, a little fold out table, whatever you have, but you're not getting the counter space. Your three burner stove is recessed. It does have the glass cover as well to, again, just provide that extra bit of counter space in this area. If you look around here, you're going to notice overhead storage compartments, just about every little nook and cranny that they can put in this thing. So again, no shortage of places to put gear, put pots, put pans, put, you know, extra little board games, whatever you have with you, you've got a place for it here. We have the separate fridge freezer in here, and you can, you'll notice ample food storage. And I like to mention the microwave and the oven as well, just for that extra ease of cooking while you're out. You'll notice some blue LED lights accent some of the LEDs that are in here as well, just to kind of give you a bit almost of a party bus kind of feeling to it. And of course, we have our Jensen TV up above everything here to give you adequate viewing space from wherever you're sitting inside of the coach. Now, we have D-rings that line from right about here all the way to the back on the floor. Okay, can't see it with the carpet in here, but the carpet's just an extra feature that you can roll out to provide a little bit more of those comforts at home. But these D-rings are rated at 2,500 pounds, so just about anybody, anybody your gear is going to fit in here comfortably and not move around while you're traveling. I'd say that pretty much covers the basics in here, and we're going to work our way towards the bedroom. We have our solar controls right here in the unit. And, of course, your main entry to the bedroom. Before we hit there, though, let's take a look at this big bathroom. Ample space in here to rinse down from a big, long day of dirt biking. Good places to put extra soaps, everybody's bathroom amenities. You've got spots for everything in here and a large shower as well to accommodate anybody. Short, tall, big or small, you're not going to have any issues using the shower. Take a look at this bedroom, okay? Not only do we have our full walk around queen right here, but we have a wardrobe slide as well. Overhead storage compartments, and then your other entry into your bathroom. You're equipped for everything in here. You're gonna be comfortable, you've got places to put all of your clothes, you don't have to run out into the hallway to go to the bathroom, and this extra slide here just gives you more room in this space. Again, we're all LED lights in here, but you can see some of this blue accent lighting in there as well, just to even give the bedroom a little bit more of a fun feel to it. Over in this corner, we do have a charging station, so we're all ready to go for your iPads, your Android devices, whatever you have that's going to need USB charging, you can plug right in there. You'll even notice we have a little bit, we have a 12-volt plug, like your cigarette lighter for your car right here as well. So anything that you need to charge, you can do conveniently on the nightstand. I mean, you're ready to go. Hey folks, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed taking a tour of the Shockwave 33 SADX with me. My name's Drew Harkelroad. Come visit us at Trailer Source in Wheat Ridge and let us help you rediscover your weekend today.